Hey y'all, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to integrate integrate a Shopify buy button onto a Show It website. So if you're like me and you sell any sort of products or templates and you have no idea how to get a buy button on your website, then this video is for you. So I have a Show It hosted website, and then I also have Shopify Lite, which I believe is around 10 to $15 a month, and it does not include a Shopify website. Um, it just includes the ability to create the buy buttons. So this is what my shop website looks like. So I have all of my products listed out here, um, the shirts and the sweatshirts. What I did was I pretty much just um, imported photos in here and then made these buttons linkable to a shop page, which I'm going to show you here in a second. So this is going to be a separate page. This page, which I'm going to take you to right now is what I'm going to help you design. So this has the actual Shopify light button embedded in here so that people can use this to check out and purchase what they want to. So they can choose the color, they can choose the size, they can choose the quantity, and then they can add it to the cart. And then the cart shows up here on the right hand side and then they can check out and it's going to take them to a checkout page where they can input their credit card information. If they are not done shopping yet, then they can just click outside or click that X button up there. And then the little cart button will show up here on the right hand side and then they can keep shopping. So they can go to another page and click on another product and add it to the cart and keep adding whatever they wanted to to the cart before checking out here. So let's get this button set up for you on the show it end. So create a blank page here and show it and we'll just get this set up before we head over to Shopify. So I'm going to add a little gallery here with the images for the my dog is a coworker t-shirt. So I'm just going to add a gallery and then click which images I want over here, oops, oh, that did add, okay. And then I'm gonna click save, and now I have a gallery created. And then you can edit the gallery settings over on the right-hand side, and then you can also edit the images again if you wanted to by clicking manage image. So let's go into the gallery settings, and I'm gonna set it up how I have it on my website. So I'm going to choose sliding gallery here, and then I'm going to show the dots. Let's change the color of the, these dots. And then let's auto advance like three seconds. Let's try that. And then there's a lot of other settings that you can play around with in here as well. If you wanted to change the spacing, image offset, dot location, under image, over image, whatever you want to do. And then you can make the mobile version totally separate if you wanted to. I'm not going to play around with that for the purpose of this tutorial though. Okay, so now I'm going to add in the title of my shirt here. So this is pretty much going to be like how you set up the rest of your website, right? So you're just adding in the text, you're adding in the images. All that's going to be different is adding in the buy button from Shopify. So I'm just going to copy and paste what I had here to make things super quick. Um, and then we've got to add the pricing. This is going to look super messy, but you know, obviously you could want to clean this up. I left aligning things, choosing whatever color you wanted for the headers, whatever. Okay. So all that we have left now is the Shopify buy button. So I'm going to go into Shopify. Hopefully by now, you know how to set up a product, um, for what you're selling. So I have everything in here already, the description, the media, the colors, the variants, the prices, the SKU numbers, whatever. Um, nobody's going to see any of this information that is on Shopify. This is just to keep things neat and organized for myself. What they're going to see is this, simply this. So I'm going to go back here. Um, I already have a buy button created for this. So once you do have one and you're, you know, working quickly to just try to make like website updates or whatever, you would click more actions, click embed on a website, and then it's going to have you copy this code right here. So I'm going to copy it and then bring it over to my site. But let me show you how to create a buy button from scratch really quick. So on the left-hand side in the menu under sales channel, you have buy button right here. So let's click this and click create a buy button. 
create a product by button. And then you're just going to search for the product. So here's a shirt. It's under the name that I searched. I'm going to click select. And then you have the option here to do all variants or you can choose a specific variant. Um, you can do different layout styles here. So the reason I don't do the classic is because I want to use my own photos here um, to show on the left hand side. You know, I don't want it to look stacked like this. Um, I think there's the full view here too. So this might come in handy for you if you don't feel the need to design the page like I did and you would rather just have it designed like this um, and have the description below and everything's like really neat and left aligned. Um, you totally can do this as well. I have just chosen to only um, design the buy button. So this is what I'm designing here. Um, so whatever you want to do. And then the actions, when people click, you want to either add the product to cart or you can take them directly to checkout or you can open the product details. I've chosen to add the product to the cart. And then here's where you can change the button style. So you can change the color here. You can change the color of the text. Um, you can change the button text style. You have to choose what Shopify has, but you should be able to find something super similar to your brand fonts here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then we're going to change the layout here as well. So you can left align the button and you can right align center. And then the text that goes over the button, whatever you want to say, obviously add to cart makes the most sense. And then if you don't even want or feel the need to show the quantity field, you can remove this as well. Um... I don't know what this does. Colors for the variant. Okay, I'm not sure what that what this color is. Oh, it's for the text up here for the color and size. So we'll just keep that black. Um, and then the shopping cart, you can change how this looks as well. So you can change the actual background of the cart to match a color on your site. You could change the body text. Um, I believe this checkout button is going to be the same as the add to cart button here. And then you can change anything that you want in here. So play around with all of these settings. And then um, that's not useful. Okay, so then the next thing that we're going to do, and you also can check out the mobile version as well by clicking up here. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is click next, and then you're going to copy the code, and then you're going to go over to show it and click embed code, double click, and then just paste the code in here. And then it's going to populate. So it's going to look um, a little bit like out of whopper jot, I guess, on the show it end. So you're just going to have to play around with it by clicking on the preview button and seeing what it actually looks like when you preview it. So it looks perfect here in the preview. So this is how I would leave it. So let's preview the full tab here. So when someone goes to your page, then they would be able to check out and then add it to cart and then here you go. So that is all that you have to do. The next step would just be to publish the website and then you are good to go. So when people add the cart and they check out, it just integrates with Shopify immediately and then you get that email notification to prepare your order. That's the end of this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions on what video that I should make next. Thanks for watching.